How to fix Samsung keyboard keeps stopping in Samsung S26 FE 5G. Hey guys, welcome back to One Million Artists YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can fix this error on your Samsung device. But before proceeding further, make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive all the latest update. Now let's begin the tutorial. Okay guys, if you are experiencing the keyboard skips a stop error on your Samsung device, you can try the following. You can try the following troubleshooting step to resolve this issue. Okay, so the number one solution is that restart your device. A simple restart can often fix temporary software glitches. Press and hold the power button and then click on the restart and then it will restart. Okay. So after restarting your device, just check your phone once and then check whether you uh, that problem is gone or not. If that problem is gone, that's great. But guys, if the problem remains same, then you can do another settings. And that is to go to your mobile device settings. Go to your mobile device settings. And then from here, what you need to do is you need to go to the general management. Okay, go to the general management and then you you have the option here keyboard list and default okay click here and then here you have the option of uh as you can see here keyboard uh samsung keyboard i'm using the samsung keyboard uh, so here is the samsung keyboard and just uh, uh come uh, scroll up scroll up and then here you will see that reset default settings okay just click on the reset default settings and then clear the cache okay you need to clear the cache clear the cache and then click reset keyboard settings so now what happened is when you reset your keyboard settings it will your keyboard will be now in the default settings okay and then go and check your keyboard you will see that your problem is completely gone but guys if your com uh, problem is not gone then well, i suggest you to go, go back go back and then go to play store like if you are using third party like a keyboard like a secondary keyboard app in your device uh, uh, for an example i'm using gboard right so if your gboard is not working then i suggest you to check whether you have an update or not if you have an update on your uh, secondary keyboard on your device then you have to update it okay but even after updating you still have the issue then what i suggest you is go to your mobile device settings and go to general management and here go to keyboard list and default and then from here you can change your default keyboard from gboard to samsung keyboard okay you can go to the settings also here and then from the settings uh, as i already told you that you can uh, reset the default settings so if you want to change the default keyboard then click here and then change it okay so uh in my case i was using gboard but now i'll use a uh, samsung keyboard okay you can change it you can uh interchange it so after doing this just check whether your keyboard is working or not if it is working that's great but if it is not working then what i suggest you is try using different keyboard like in play store there are many different keyboards available okay so here you can just type k-e-y-b-o-a-r-d keyboard okay so just type keyboard and then you will see the you will find a lot of list here you can just download any one of them by checking the ratings and reviews okay so if like you see like uh, if the issue persists okay consider downloading and using a different keyboard app from the google play store such as gboard or you also have the swift key okay you can also download swift key to see if the problem is specific to the keyboard app you are using okay so if the gboard is not working use swift key if the swift key is not working use another uh, keyboard okay now the fifth solution is that go to your mobile device settings even after doing all of this your keyboard is still showing you the same problem then uh, go and then go to settings and then check uh, your software update on your device ensure that your samsung devices software is up to date sometimes software updates include bug fixes and improvement that can resolve such issues okay so after doing this just check your problem will be gone but if you still have the problem that is the, then the last solution is that go to your mobile device settings go to general management and here go to reset and then from here you have the option of factory reset so you need to factory you need to reset your factory data reset okay but guys see 
But guys, you need to have the backup. Make sure to backup your important data before proceeding with the factory reset as it will erase all the data on your phone, okay? And restore it to its original factory settings, okay? So this is what you can do. And the last thing is that if the problem persists after trying these steps, it's possible that there may be a more serious underlying issues with your device's software or hardware. In such cases, uh, contacting Samsung customer support or visiting an authorized service center for the further assistance would be recommended. So this is what you can do. I hope this video definitely helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.